situation seems to be that we have a new breed of union boss. Once upon a time, time of Chifley, for example, they rose through the ranks and some of them would go into politics, but they were never in it for themselves. And Chifley, the way he lived, yes. the steamiest way he lived. Yes. The, I mean, when he was staying at the hotel in Canberra, he had to share the bathroom. Yes. This is, this is a, an ordinary man who continued to be an ordinary man, but to be the leader of the party, the Prime Minister. Now, we seem to have a situation now where you get a new breed who come in, lawyer, lawyer types, as you said, <laughs> who come in from the universities, they're recruited, and their aim seems to be power, their aim seems to be to get into Parliament, and some of them seem to want to make a lot of money on the way. Now, uh, I want to come to one aspect of the uh, the amounts extracted from this incorporated association, and that is, was in relation to the renovation of the house. It seems they actually used money from this union fund to renovate their personal house, which was never recovered, as I understand it. Is that so? Again, um, Ian Cambridge has been exhaustively forensic in tracking money down. So it's not just one account. This account that was established pursuant to the incorporation of the association in Perth was only one of many accounts that were used to extract money from uh, various parties. And um, we were talking a moment ago about the huge amounts of cash that came out of the Perth account. Well, another account in Melbourne had uh, large amounts of money come out of it. Some of it went to Town Mode, the fashion house uh, in Melbourne. Um, at, you are correct in pointing out that uh, Wilson renovated the home that he owned, purchased with this union money. Uh, you are also, uh, if you are implying that uh, Julia Gillard owned a home in Abbotsford that was renovated at the time, you are correct, she did, that is true. Uh, and that Mr Wilson was dealing with builders and large amounts of cash were coming out of these uh, accounts. I can make no uh, allegation against Miss Gillard uh, that clearly pins money from one of these accounts as going to pay the builders who renovated her own home. Uh, there are plenty of people who do make that um, connection. Uh, this is a matter that uh, Miss Gillard will, uh, an can answer for herself. Uh, did she pay for it herself? Well, she uh, has produced a handwritten receipt that suggests that she did. And I, you know, I can't uh, take that matter any further as to uh, uh, what some judicial process may find, you know, in relation to who actually paid for the renovations to her own home. Let me just make this point, though: How can it be, God? How can it be within anyone's guidelines of probity and propriety that a union official? can just be handling so routinely these tens of thousands of dollars in cash unknown to others in the union. How can the bloke not have to stand for at least some oral examination under oath as to what happened to the money? How can we have no record? How can it be that he's allowed to leave the union with a redundancy payment not paid back, the union's taken no action to get its redundancy payment back, notwithstanding the existence of a court order to the effect that it ought to be repaid. I know where the bloke is. I'll ring him up. I can ring him now. <laughs> How can it be that Paul Howes can look down the barrel of a camera and pretend that he's interested in getting his members' money back and take no action against this bloke? And the fact that this bloke, Wilson, was at the time the de facto partner of the current Prime Minister, the fact that the AWU, that union, via Paul Howes made the announcement on the night that Kevin Rudd was dispatched that she, Gillard, had uh, done the dispatching and would be the next Prime Minister. It just raises so many disquieting questions that linger in the air like a terrible bad smell unanswered. And that's what I have sought to get answers to. That's why I wrote to the Prime Minister and uh, put those very direct questions. Uh, to her, because I don't want to live in that sort of country where if you're powerful and you're connected, you can get away with that sort of stuff. I, I don't think that's right. 